Hey, hey, hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your avatar quest compatible. Now, I already made this video a couple of months ago, but I recently found a better solution on how to do it. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing that I suggest is you're going to create a new folder that you're going to basically name quest or you can do quests, quest avatar, whatever. So basically all the things that we do or create, you're just going to drag it into this quest folder right here. So what you want to do first is go ahead and find the scene of your avatar, the original scene that you had to run in order to spawn in your avatar. You simply want to duplicate it by control D and you're going to rename it to quest. Now what you want to do here is you're going to run that scene. And of course you can save any changes. And as you can see, it'll it'll spawn you to another scene. And of course, when you run your other scene, it's going to bring you back to your PC side. So now we have our quest avatar right here. So what do you want to do is you're going to go ahead and find its materials. Once you find the materials, find its textures. So all the textures that you have of body, any normal maps, and you're basically going to duplicate them. It might take a little bit to load in, but eventually they'll all get copied. And now simply what you want to do is on this side right here, you're going to click and hold and drag them into your folder, which we named quest. Now here is where you have all your materials and you basically uh, have to, if you have them at 4K, you're basically going to make them at 2K or if they're at 2K, you're going to basically make them 1K, but only if necessary, because uh, once you upload your avatar, the, meg uh, the megabyte size should be 10. It can be bigger than 10. So when you eventually go ahead and upload your avatar, it's going to say like, it's going to give you a warning that the avatar is too big. So you basically want to make your avatar 1K if necessary. If not, just leave it at 2K. But if you have a 4K textures, you're going to put it on 2K. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find your materials. And you would also want to copy these materials. So click and hold Control and then Control D. And this might take a little bit. And now just drag them as well into your quest folder. Go back on the quest. Now, basically, you want to drag these materials onto your avatar. And basically, once you have that done, you're just going to click on them and you're going to make them VR chat mobile. And I would go with standard light, but you can choose what you want. And now here you're basically just to make sure you want to redrag everything. So let's say you have an emission mask or normal map. You just want to redrag them there. And that is basically it. And if you haven't selected uh, all every single one of these, you basically just want to go through, go ahead, VR chat, mobile, standard light. And you want to make sure to, to do this for every single material that your avatar uses. Now, if your avatar has glasses, uh, transparency is not allowed on Quest. There is ways to do it, but I still haven't figured it out myself. But once I eventually do, I'm going to show off how to do that. Once we got everything done, you're basically going to go ahead VRChat SDK and you're going to click on switch build target to Android. And then it might give you some errors that things that you need to do. So let's say if your avatar has dynamic bones, you're going to have to remove them. So um, just go ahead uh, after switching to Android, just go ahead and check where you have if it complains to you, of course, go ahead and check the dynamic bones and remove them. You're ready to upload after that. Um, if it gives you if it gives you any errors, like your avatar is too big of a file, you have to sadly go back and just even either kill more, even decrease the size of your textures. Sometimes even going up to 512 on the eyes or some you know low quality parts that you don't really need it to be detailed. And if you have a lot of assets, let's say clothing and etc., um, I don't think you. It's a. It will be a bit harder to set up because um, Quest is really, really uh, strict when it comes to avatar size and dynamic bones. So but basically, if you have a really, really big size avatar, it's not really going to work for the Quest. But that should be everything. You're ready to upload, and you're ready to go on. And now if we go to our avatars, as you can see right here, it's going to be both PC and Quest compatible. That is it guys, hope you enjoyed this today's tutorial and I hope that it worked for you. If you want me to do some more tutorials, do let me know in the comments. There is more coming of course, but if you want me to focus on certain type of tutorials, do let me know. Stay hydrated guys, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you around.